Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Megala. Let's hurry to the quarry. Next petition! Step forward! My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency. It's too dangerous. Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you. But I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall, Kisara. This man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there.
I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. <laughs> I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? Ever since my first job as a guardsman. Our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks. The still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air, but at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Mm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Zoogles! Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Fine. As you wish. I noticed your shield just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it, just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? 
Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously, I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield whenever I like. Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that rare. So basically, there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Been well. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. I can understand why you'd be skeptical. However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination.
will find weapon material when I see it. All right. An opponent like this should be easy. Start up. This one's mine. I'm a god. This one. I'm not done. Gemini, I'm not done. They may look like they're big. This one's mine. You got fire. Barely a blip on our radar. I didn't know you could use arts like that. Yeah, but still, what's with that smoke and these zoogles around here? like we won. How long have they been mining this place out? Since before I was born. Or so they tell me. Probably for decades. That long? I'm impressed the place has never caved in during all that time. I'm right behind you, Shion.
Everyone hanging in there? Looks like some solid equipment. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. Stronger. Onward and upward.
choice. Who's in a bright and shiny mood? Scratches on my shield or my armor. This place is a lot more complicated than I expected. Is this the right way? Yeah. Gotta break through! Win! Start us! Into the shadow! Raging star! Lightning! Fly out! Here I go! Win! Yes, Thunder field! Watch him! Yeah, in the wind! Double demon fight! This one is mine! I'll be raging this way! Mega Thunder Going run! Where are you going? This is it! Fight! I'm prac- Unstoppable. Are you on alert for your brother? You needn't worry so much. He's not the type of man to act rashly. Right. Here goes! Win! Healing for the Take that! Lightning and Burning! Burning! 
Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat.
Right to me. Looks like we've arrived. This is the way to the medical facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going. So there really is an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, it never even existed in the first place. But I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? No way. So then, this entire lake is... Yes, all this is the Hollowing. I still don't follow, Nagal. What happened to your hand? And what is this Hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely, a death leaving no physical remains. All that's left is a reflective substance, the only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake? How many people? How many Danans? <laughs> you actually expect me to believe all that? That an astral arts illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan Lord, would have no knowledge? I have. One last piece of evidence, Lord Dohalim. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. What are you doing, Nagal? <coughs> Here is your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless Danon deaths under your watch. 
No. They were not merely deaths. Those denons were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Miguel! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisara. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. <laughs> I didn't have much time left anyway. Please help our Lord Dohalim to make our greatest dream a reality. Take 
Tiger Blade! 
you all right? What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Miguel trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. <laughs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me, and in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dohalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you and your dream! Forgive me. So this... This is who you really are? <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, yeah. Kisara! Let go. Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Yeah. Are you trying to ignore your brother's yeah. dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Just kill me. I'm nothing. I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? Change my mind. Are you feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Thanks. What are we gonna do now? I still have unfinished business with Dohalim. He's a world away from the Lord Balsef was. 
There's no need for us to fight him, Xion. In case you've forgotten, I Guys, don't... guys! I think something's going on outside. Kisara! There you are! What, what's happening? Kelvalik has started an insurrection. He's driving all of the Danans out of the palace. What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought... We thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Well, either way, I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. I guess not all of the Renans here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. So this is it. This is the real Menensia. Are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renans sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. Uh, what are you all doing? I thought it was pretty clear. We're coming with you. I appreciate the thought, really. But there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Thank you. Will things be okay in the city? I'm concerned about that as well. But for now, let us get to the palace. Right. We best clamp down on things at the source before they get out of here. We have to stop Sir Kelzalik. Don't you think it's about time you drop the Sir? <sighs> he always treated us Danans with such warmth and kindness. Did he have such bad intentions all along? I... I just can't bring myself to believe it. Forget about intentions. We should assume he's the one who's behind all these incidents. It's not surprising to me that there are Renans and Men and Sia who resent Dohalim, but I didn't expect one would be so close to him. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I guess all of us here in Menencia are still some way off from being a truly united realm, aren't we? Are you going to be okay, Kisara? I don't know, but I definitely don't want things to end like this. Please, lend me your strength. Of course. Anyone who tries to oppress others is our enemy, and we'll gladly stand against them. Besides, I want to believe that this realm really can do better too. The fact the enemy's holding themselves up tells me they're not exactly happy to see us. Then we'd better go in prepared for whatever welcome we get.
you guys checked your equipment lately? I thought we'd see fighting throughout the city. But it's dead quiet. Either Dohalim's allies have been arrested, or they're keeping a low profile. Meaning the rebels are occupying the palace? Then let's hurry up and kick those bastards out. This place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. Such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danan guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their post lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? How could this be happening? Any idea where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's Chamber. Worth a shot. You can bust that wall open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find out! You sure about that? From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts. And I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons, either. However, I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zoogle. An invisible Zoogle? We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out.
Seriously? Is this a joke? Look at both the shirts! Now you see what I can do! My shield? I can read your mood! We're not finished! I'm doing it! I know fine weapon material when I see it. Right. Oh, 
Shut him down. Pierce. It's almost too strong. Be my guest. Flame of fury. Going in. Pierce. You put the wrong fight. Freeze, Lancer. Barely a blip on our radar. Nicely done. Is this a joke? on the prize. Is that some kind of note the rebels left? Hey, it mentions the release mechanism we're looking for, but... This isn't enough to go on.
think this is a key to the noble room of the castle. A uh, noble... What? The room at the northern end of this floor. Maybe the release mechanism is in there. No choice! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Forces here too? They must be predicting our movements and deploying accordingly. So they figured we were coming all along, is that it? Come on! 
Done. Look, another note from the Rebels. If we combine it with the note we found before, then there should be a key inside a cabinet in the office. Great. Let's see if we can find it. No choice. Engaging! Going in! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Dance in the wind! Got you! Fire for <sighs> Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. Dannons and Renans aren't on completely equal footing here. Both sides still cared about each other. And now we have to fight some of those same Renans inside the palace. Don't forget, we're here fighting to keep what makes this realm so special alive. Don't lose hope, Kisara. moving.
Did that finally get rid of the wall? To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's chamber. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelsalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Dan in for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Miguel, my brother, he dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You, you killed my brother. And now you'll die for it!
These slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? 
<laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what, did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Doholi, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalik, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? They can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Mahatsar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crowd will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act, as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. Go. To Mahak Sar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danon guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenigus and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. 
<laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. What's Kisara going to do now? I'm sure it's complicated for her. Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Megalan trusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm.
You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Megal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well? This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, 
the Valley of the Four Winds. I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elder Men and Sia Guard. So, in a way, Using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisora. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kalzalek even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. 